I'm Kate Scott and I'm the librarian at Christ College. My family and I had been attending our new church for almost a year when things shut down due to the coronavirus. The church we attend is rather large and my husband and I are a bit shy, so we'd been finding morning tea at church a bit hard going because we're not good at going up and chatting to people we don't know. Although when our baby arrived last July, it made things easier because more people would come up and chat to us. And we also got to know the parents in the crying room. We discovered the crying room is a really good place to meet visitors. So a surprising positive that came from the church building closing and our service moving online was that we got to meet lots and lots of people from church in the Zoom breakout rooms we have after the service. It's great. And now when we return to meeting physically, I'm going to look forward to morning tea much more because we'll be able to go up and chat to all these people we've met online and we'll know their names now. We also know of at least one elderly gentleman in our congregation who's also loving online church because he's housebound and he's finally now able to attend church again and to meet together with his Christian brothers and sisters. It's so nice seeing his joyous expression each week when we log into Zoom. However, at the same time, we found Bible study hard going. At the start of the year, we joined a Bible study group that was full of young families and met at lunchtime on Sundays. We enjoyed attending Bible study as a family and getting to know everyone else as we studied the Bible together. But when church shut down, so did Bible study. So now, on Sunday mornings, we move to the lounge room at nine o'clock for online church and we don't leave the sofa or the screen until Bible study is over at midday. We find it a long time to be concentrating in front of a screen and also a long time to keep our 13 month old daughter occupied. But despite all these changes and uncertainties, we can still remember that Jesus is in control and our future is secure with him. I'm reminded of this every time a particular Colin Buchanan song comes on in the car. He sings, be strong and courageous, the Lord of the ages holds all his little ones safe by his side. Do not fear the darkness. Do not fear the sadness. Do not fear the sickness. Jesus has conquered them all. It reminds me of Philippians 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So I hope you all remember that even when church is hard and even when church is great, God is in control. So stay strong.